Good evening everyone. This is Vrishali. In our previous sessions, we discussed about complete data structure subject with some practical demonstrations. I have mentioned complete data structure playlist link in below description box. Now, in this session, we will discuss about the important questions based on data structure subject. These questions will be helpful for any university exam as well as interview purpose also. This is not an official question bank. These are the general and most frequently asked question in your exam. So let's see. We will discuss important question on following type topics. Some students having the data structure subject in their academics. Some students having fundamentals of data structure subject and some students having data structure and algorithm subject. So both three subjects having the same topics and same syllabus almost. So you can refer this question back as per your syllabus. So for reference book, you can use as Sahani fundamentals of data structure in C++ this book for study purpose. In this book, every point mentioned in detail or in example oriented format. So you can use this reference book for your exam purpose. Next. Now the first topic is introduction to data structure and algorithm. So on this topic in exam, they will ask about characteristics and properties of algorithm or which are the algorithm design strategies explained with example. So here you need to explain divide and conquer strategy, greedy algorithm strategy, their names with examples. Then definition about abstract data type, data structure and data objects. So generally these three questions asked for four marks. Next one is difference between linear and non-linear data structure with examples. So here you have to mention minimum six difference between this data structure for six marks. Next one is explain static and dynamic data structure. Here you have to mention their meaning with examples for four marks. The next question is what is complexity analysis algorithm? Explain the asymptotic notation. And the next one is explain asymptotic notation with examples. So in exam, they will ask any one question from this two question. Okay. And the next one is what is space complexity or time complexity of algorithm? You need to explain their importance with example. Okay. So in exam, they will ask any one question from this two question. So these are the important questions on the basis of this topic. I will explain already this all topics in previous sessions. Next. The next point is linear data structure using sequential organization. So on the basis of this unit, they will ask about topic on the sparse matrix. Like what is sparse matrix and there explain their representation or write C++ code to perform simple transpose or addition of sparse matrix. So they will ask any one question from this or they will ask performance or operations of transpose of sparse matrix or addition of sparse matrix. Okay, so you need to prepare both operations of sparse matrix. The next question is they will ask array using pointer notation. You need to demonstrate this thing with example. Next, what is abstract data type or explain singly linked list as ADT. So here they will ask any data structure with ADT for four marks. Next question is explain row and column major representation matrix with example. This is most important question generally asked for six to eight marks. Next, what is array? Explain types of array with example or they will ask specific type of array like explain two dimensional array with example. So you need to prepare both questions. They will ask any one question from this. Next topic is polynomial representation. Okay. And the question basis on this topic is explain polynomial representation using array with suitable example or they will give you some examples. Okay. And you need to represent polynomials using array on the basis of these examples. So this question generally asked for six to eight marks. Next. The next and most important topic is searching and sorting algorithm. And the first question is you need to write the algorithm of binary search. Okay. And discuss their complexity of algorithm, best case and worst case. So here you need to mention definition of binary search, algorithm of binary search and their time complexity in this particular cases for six to eight marks. The next one is explain linear search with pseudocode with example. Here mention definition of linear search their pseudocode and their examples. So you can take examples as per your choice. Next difference between linear search and binary search. So this question generally asked for four to six marks. 
Next one is explain insertion sort algorithm and they will give you some particular sorting numbers here and you need to perform insertion sort on these numbers. Okay. Next one is explain merge sort algorithm using divide and conquer strategy with example. So in exam on the topic of merge sort, they will ask either explanation or they will give you a particular problem or particular numbers and you need to perform merge sort on this particular numbers. So this question generally asked for 6 to 8 marks. The next question is they will ask some discussion example like discuss the criteria of choosing a sorting algorithm based on input size and time complexity of bubble insertion and quick sort. So you need to discuss means which algorithm best for which examples. Okay. So this question generally asked for 6 to 8 marks. The next topic is quick sort. So on quick sort they will ask explain quick sort with example. Here you will take any one example as per your choice. So prepare example. Okay. And the next one is what are the importance of pivot element in quick sort method. So they will ask any one question from this. The next one is write a pseudocode to sort the data using bucket sort in ascending order. Explain radix sort with example. So they will ask any one sort example with example you need to solve this. Okay. And last one is explain sort stability with example. So this question generally asks for 6 to 8 marks. So I am suggesting you, you should prepare any one example of each and every sort and each and every searching techniques. So it's easy for you to solve the examples in exam, right? Next. The next important topic is stack. So on the stack topic, they will give you some solving examples, okay? Like first question is infix expression to postfix expression. So they will give you a particular expression and you need to solve this expression. Okay. Or they will ask write an algorithm to convert infix to postfix expression. Okay. So they will ask any one question from this. Either they will give you an example or you can take an example as per your choice. The next question is on the basis of postfix expression. Okay. So they will give you some examples. You need to calculate the value of postfix expression or you need to evaluate a postfix expression using a stack with suitable example. Okay. So they will ask any one question with in exam. The next topic is stack using array. So you need to implement stack using array by performing following operation. So here you can take any example as per your choice and perform following operations on the stack with pseudocode with example. Okay. And here you need to draw the diagram of push, pop, display on all the other operations. Clear? The next question is explain implementation of stack using link organization or sequential organization. So they will ask any one question from this. So here you need to explain stack using any organization with example. The next one is explain the following linear data structure. So they will ask any one example uh, question from this. Either linear data structure here you have to explain stack and queue with examples or what is stack explain with applications. So this all question generally asked for 8 marks. Next. Next is queue data structure. So the first question is what is abstract data type of queue. This question generally asked for 2 to 4 marks. Then simple queue using array or implement queue using sequential organization. So they will ask any one question explanation of any one question in exam. The next topic is DQ. So explain DQ or they will give you a particular operation like insert and delete operation or explain the concept of double ended queue or insertion of deletion operation in link implementation of DQ. So you need to prepare answer of double ended queue and they will ask any one question from this three question. The next topic is priority queue. So what is priority queue and operations of priority queue. This is most important question for six to eight marks. The next one is explain linear queue and circular queue with example and on the basis of topic circular queue they will ask any one question from this three question like write pseudocode of circular queue or how circular queue helps to overcome disadvantages of linear queue or implement a circular queue using linked list for eight marks. Next. Next topic is linked list. So on linked list the main important topic is polynomial representation using linked list or polynomial addition using singly linked list for 8 marks. Next, write a short note on singly linked list or insert node at singly linked list. 
so here you have to prepare both description algorithm pseudo code and examples next what is doubly linked list or explain doubly linked list circular linked list or draw and explain circular linked list explain generalized linked list so this all question generally asked for 8 marks the next one is they will ask any one comparison like compare linked list versus array or linear versus circular linked list for 4 to 6 marks and last one is static and dynamic memory allocation so here you have to prepare their explanation and their methods like malloc calloc free so you have to prepare all these methods for 6 to 8 marks next next is trees and search tree so here they will give you the particular examples like you need to find out in order pre order post order of this particular tree the next topic is avl tree so they will give you a particular examples either in string format or numbers format so you need to find out uh, their you need to generate or create avl tree next compare avl tree and red black tree or explain red black tree with examples or k dimensional tree with examples so these all questions are for 6 to 8 marks the next and most important topic is threaded binary tree so they will ask any one question in your exam compulsorily like write an algorithm to traverse in order threaded binary tree or explain threaded binary tree with examples for 8 marks next explain split tree explain b plus tree b minus tree so you need to prepare all this tree with example right next the next topic is graph and symbol table so on this topic the most important topic is adjacency matrix okay so they will ask any one question either they will give you a particular matrix and you need to draw the direct graph as per the adjacency matrix or write a short note on adjacency matrix for 8 marks the next is shortest path using digestrax algorithm so this is one of the most important question and generally this same example will be asked in your exam okay for 8 marks next you need to explain following terms of graphs for 6 to 8 marks and the most important is minimum spanning tree they will ask compulsorily any one example like kruskal algorithm or prims algorithm so you should prepare this algorithm with example the next one is explain suitable example bfs and dfs traversal minimum maximum heap data structure topological sorting floyd warshall algorithm and optimal binary search tree so this all question generally asked for 6 to 8 marks so you need to prepare each and every examples of every algorithm of graph data structure and the next topic is symbol table so on this symbol table they will ask any one question like what is symbol table give symbol table add or static and dynamic tree table with example for 4 marks next the next topic is file organization so file organization is one of the most important topic they will ask you in your exam like what is file and the types of file organization or what is file explain different file opening modes so this two question generally asked for 4 to 6 marks next short note on direct access file organization or you need to perform various operations on sequential file organization so here you have to explain those file organization types with example with diagram okay diagram is necessary in this file organization so this question generally asked for 8 marks now next is c++ pseudo code for delete operation on sequential file so they will ask any one operation on that next differential between sequential index sequential file you need to explain index sequential file organization with example link organization of file with example for 8 marks next they will give you some functions or prototype you need to explain those prototype for 4 to 6 marks next explain types of indices so this question generally asked for 4 marks and list the different types of external storage devices and this question generally asked for 2 to 4 marks so you need to prepare each every file type of organization with example with diagram next next topic is hashing so on the hashing they will ask this kind of question like characteristics of good hash function different techniques to resolve collision separate chaining explanation explain open addressing explain linear probing with example so you should prepare every example in hashing topic okay and you need to explain the concept of this all hashing technique for 6 to 8 marks next so all about important question you should prepare this question as per your syllabus point of view thank you all the best keep learning